Introduction to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Object Storage. My company has terabytes of data and it is growing rapidly. I am looking for a storage service that can help me store my growing data durably and cost effectively. I've been hearing a lot about the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Object Storage. Can you tell me more about this service? Sure. Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Object Storage is an internet scale, highly durable, and highly available storage service. Unlike block or file storage, it's optimized for storing unstructured data. Data is stored as objects in buckets. A bucket is a logical container that groups objects together. A bucket is associated with a single compartment, which in turn has policies that indicate what actions a user can perform on a bucket and all the objects in the bucket. You can access this service via the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Service Console, SDK, or CLI. How can I estimate how much storage I should purchase up front? You don't need to make any upfront storage purchases. Object storage is elastic. You only pay for what you use. You can seamlessly scale your storage footprint as your need to store data scales. You can store an infinite amount of data in object storage, create thousands of buckets per account, and store an unlimited number of objects per bucket. An object can be as large as 10 terabytes. Wow, you can really store large files. Uploading a 10 terabyte file can take a really long time. Are there any techniques that I can leverage to efficiently upload such large files? You can use the multi-part upload feature to efficiently upload large files. You can segment your file into smaller parts and then upload these parts in parallel. Object storage supports up to 10,000 parts per file, and a part can be as small as 10 MB or 10 megabytes. Using multi-part upload not only significantly reduces the upload time, but also minimizes the impact of network failures. If a part fails to upload for any reason, you can retry to upload the failed part instead of having to upload the entire file. What about durability? How durable is the data stored in object storage? Data stored in object storage is very durable. Multiple copies of an object are stored redundantly across multiple fault domains in a given region. Data integrity is monitored using checksums. Any drop in redundancy is auto-detected and remedied immediately, without any customer impact. What about security? How secure is my data in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Object Storage? Object Storage supports server-side encryption. All data stored in Object Storage is automatically encrypted. Data is uploaded and downloaded from Object Storage over SSL endpoints using the HTTPS protocol. By default, only authenticated users who have explicitly been granted access to specific resources can access data stored in Object Storage. The service is tightly integrated with Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Identity and Access Management. For an additional layer of security, you can encrypt objects prior to sending them to object storage. That gives you total control over not only your data, but also the encryption keys that are used to encrypt the data. That sounds great. How can I share my data stored in object storage with others? You can make a bucket public to share data with others. Anyone with knowledge of the public bucket name and associated namespace can anonymously read data stored in a public bucket. With public buckets, you can also list objects or retrieve the object metadata. If you do not wish to make a bucket public, you can use pre-authenticated requests or identity and access management, IAM policies, to share data. These two options offer a more secure means of sharing data with others as compared to public buckets. When do you recommend using object storage? Some typical use cases include backup or archive, big data or data lake, and content repository. Backup or archive. Backup or archive data is typically written once and read many times. The durability and low-cost characteristics of object storage make it a perfect platform to store long-living data. Big Data or Data Lake 
Object Storage offers a scalable storage platform, which enables you to not only store large data sets, but also operate seamlessly on it. Optimized for high throughput, you can share the stored data widely with moderate latency and interact with other data stores like Autonomous Data Warehouse. Content Repository Object Storage supports any content type, images, logs, and video. You can reliably store this data for a long time, and the storage scales seamlessly without performance degradation. You can also access this content directly from Object Storage. That's great. How about a quick demo on how to use Object Storage? Sure. Log into the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Portal. From the OCI Services menu on the upper left side, click Object Storage. Choose your compartment and click Create Bucket. Enter a name for your bucket. The name cannot be changed once the bucket is created. Select a storage tier. Standard is the default primary object storage tier. Archive is a special tier for data to which you do not need immediate access. You have the option of assigning tags or encrypting using key management. You must create the vault in your tenancy beforehand in order to avail of this service. Click Create Bucket. The bucket is created. Click the bucket name to view details about the bucket. The service supports individual files up to 10 terabytes. You can use the console to upload objects up to 2 gigabytes in size. You can use the CLI or multi-part upload API for larger objects. You can either browse or drag and drop an object to upload it into the bucket. Once the object is uploaded, you can view it under the Objects section. When you create a bucket, the bucket is considered a private bucket, and the access to the bucket and its contents would require authentication and authorization. Click the Update Visibility tab to change a bucket or object from private to public and vice versa. Object Storage supports anonymous, unauthenticated access to a bucket. You can make a bucket public by enabling read access to the bucket. The pre-authenticated requests feature provides a way to let users access a bucket or an object without having their own credentials. You need PAR manage permission access to the target bucket or object to create or manage pre-authenticated requests. When creating a pre-authenticated request, you have the following options. You can configure the name of a specific bucket that a user has right access to and can upload one or more objects to. You can configure object level access too. You can also configure the expiration date for the request. Great, thanks for sharing all this information. You're welcome. Please go to the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Portal to learn more. Be sure to sign up for the free trial and get started right away.